your um, non-gated horses which carry their head carriages right here. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to get these horses, I'm going to hand these rings over here. I like to get these horses bending right and left and I never put them in a situation where I'm going to use a solid rein at this point. I've got these reins tied up here with plenty of slack so that um, he can bend right and he can bend left. What I usually like to do is I like to take a set of reins like this and I have a breakaway strap on both ends so that if this horse gets in any kind of trouble at all and goes to fighting, these little thin leather straps will break and he is set free because I never want to put my horse in a situation where he feels claustrophobic or in a situation that he cannot get out. Now you notice what I'm doing here is I'm measuring the distance. I trombone down here, close each finger, and I ask my horse to give me his nose. Get him bending so that when you ask for the bend, he has that bend, okay? I do the same thing on the opposite side. But before, I kind of jumped the gun a little bit, before we got, get to that point, I always bring a lunge whip or a carrot stick or an extension device to my hand or a flag. I'm gonna walk over here. Here's three different tools that I use. This has a string on it. It's an extension or um, a carrot stick, whatever you want to call it. I can reach out and I can prompt my horse to move forward. So before you do any kind of lateral vertical flexion at all, you want your horse to move freely around the round pit. Just get his feet moving, relax, because getting your horse in the bit eventually requires him to be relaxed in order to do so. I will also use a flag sometimes if a horse is a little more resistant to a lunge whip or a carrot stick. So I'll use a flag or the lunge whip. This has got a long piece here that I can reach out. And I don't use this to spank or whip the horse. I use it as an extension to my hand. I will swing at the shoulder, get the front legs moving so that the back feet always find uh, travel with the front feet. In other words, let me rephrase that. Pretend the horse's front feet are the truck. The hind feet are the trailer. If you get the truck moving, which is the front feet, the trailer will follow, which is the hind feet. So we always swing at the shoulder to get the front feet moving first. Okay? Now we're going to close this first segment and we'll go on to the second phase.